The death of prominent Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny in a Siberian penal colony has cast a spotlight on the string of mysterious deaths and misfortunes that have befallen Kremlin critics over the years. In the shadows of power, where politics meets intrigue, there lies a string of unsettling mysteries. The deaths of Vladimir Putin's critics have sparked international outcry and raised disturbing questions about the nature of power in Russia. From plane crashes to apparent suicides, each demise seems to carry the weight of suspicion and secrecy. Join us on a journey into the heart of these enigmatic incidents as we uncover the stories of those who dared to challenge the Kremlin's authority, only to meet untimely and tragic ends. From outspoken journalists to prominent businessmen, their lives and deaths form a chilling narrative of dissent and danger in Putin's Russia. Navalny, a fierce critic of President Vladimir Putin, had been imprisoned for alleged financial crimes widely seen as politically motivated. Navalny's fate. Navalny's vocal opposition to Putin, and his exposure of corruption within the Russian government earned him widespread support, making him a potential threat to the regime. His death raises questions about the safety of those who dare to challenge Putin's authority. A pattern of untimely demise. The list of deceased individuals who may have crossed paths with the Kremlin is extensive. From plane crashes and accidental falls to poisonings and suicides, the circumstances surrounding their deaths raise troubling questions. Examples of controversial deaths. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of the Wagner Group, a Russian mercenary outfit, died in a plane crash under suspicious circumstances. Boris Nemtsov, a prominent opposition leader was gunned down near the Kremlin in broad daylight. Boris Berezovsky, a wealthy businessman, and Putin critic was found dead in his London home under unclear circumstances. Alexander Perepilikny, a Russian financier who provided evidence of alleged fraud against Russian officials died suddenly while jogging. Sergei Magnitsky, a lawyer who exposed corruption within the Russian government died in prison under questionable circumstances. Alexander Litvinenko, a former Russian spy turned Kremlin critic was poisoned with radioactive polonium-210 in London. Anna Politkovskaya, a renowned journalist known for her critical coverage of the Chechen war was gunned down in Moscow. Beyond death, neutralization tactics. Not all Kremlin critics face death, but many are effectively silenced or rendered incapable of further opposition. Navalny, before his death, was already imprisoned, limiting his ability to challenge the regime. Examples of neutralization. Mikhail Khodorkovsky, a former oil magnate who became a vocal critic was imprisoned on alleged financial charges before being pardoned. Sergei Skripal, a former Russian spy who defected to Britain was poisoned with a nerve agent, leaving him and his daughter critically ill. Many of these deaths are shrouded in secrecy, with investigations yielding inconclusive results or convenient scapegoats. This lack of transparency fuels speculation and raises serious concerns about the potential involvement of the Russian state in silencing dissent. The deaths also serve as a stark reminder of the risks faced by those who dare to challenge the status quo in Russia. Exiled critics, living in fear. While some have perished, others have chosen exile to escape potential persecution. Mikhail Khodorkovsky, a former oil tycoon who dared to challenge Putin's economic grip, now lives in London. Author Boris Akunin, another vocal critic, resides in Europe after being labeled a terrorist by Moscow. These individuals, though safe from immediate physical harm, continue to live in fear, their voices echoing from afar. Impact on Russia's political landscape. The deaths and exile of Putin's critics have had a profound impact on Russia's political landscape. It has created a climate of fear and stifled dissent, discouraging potential opposition figures from emerging. This lack of diverse voices and perspectives ultimately weakens democratic institutions and hinders the development of a truly representative government. The deaths and misfortunes of Putin critics raise serious concerns about the safety and freedom of those who oppose the Russian government. 
Whether through direct harm or indirect means of silencing, the pattern of events creates a chilling atmosphere for dissent in Russia. Thank you.